Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Imagine Coaching and today we're going to look at the importance of the aspect ratio, ratio when it comes to pictures. So I am going to insert a picture from the Microsoft 365 stock images and I'm going to choose a picture with a person because it's more easy to see the distortion when I use an image like this. Now I'm going to duplicate the slide, Control D, so that I've got a comparison before and after. So what I would see happen quite often is that people uh, drag an image to fit the screen like this. Okay, and then we see that the person is a little bit distorted. So onto the second slide. Um, what you'll find with the Microsoft 365 images is they, they all come with the aspect ratio locked. But if you're bringing in an image from a different uh, location or perhaps it's one you have yourself on your uh, machine it might not be locked so I want to show you how to do that so when we click on the image then we have the format picture tab that will open up and right over to the far right we have size and we have a little pop-out menu here and we have the aspect ratio so the aspect ratio as you can see on this one is locked and we want to make sure that that is ticked if it isn't ticked already so what this means is that when we drag the image to resize it from the corner, it stays in perfect proportion. OK, so we're not distorting the image itself. So for this type of image, what I would do if I wanted to use it as the whole slide is I would drag it out from the corners so that it fills the slide. OK, and if I wanted to make the slide a little bit tidier, I would then crop the top to the slide and I would also crop the bottom to the slide as well. Okay, I'm going to press escape to come out of that. So I'm going to just play that now. Okay, so this is the original image that's in the correct aspect ratio. And this is the one that's been distorted. So I hope you would agree that um, the second one does look better. Uh, it's particularly important for people. Uh, if you've got s images of objects, um, maybe it's not as important. Uh, sometimes the object can look distorted depending on how much it's been stretched. If it was a landscape picture and there was no person in this, you probably wouldn't have noticed because you wouldn't recognize the landscape. So it really just depend on the image and the, the content of the image. So I hope you found this little demo useful. If you're watching this on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching it on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.